Good morning. Ah. <laughs> It's your favorite daughter. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. You are the best principal ever. As in ever yun, mama. I cannot forget the love, patience, and yung mga pagtuturo nyo ng mga mabubuti, bagay, at yung mga tamang bagay na gagawin namin. You are a leader, an inspiring leader para sa amin. And truly, you're a blessing to us po. Not only sa amin, ni Ma'am Sheila, but din po sa buong school. Sa ina ng buhay, Catholic school. Thankful po ako, Ma'am, na nakilala po kita. And happy Mother's Day po ulit. Uh, more and more K-drama po tayo. <laughs> Ingat po palagi, Ma'am T, and I love you po. In celebration of Mother's Day, we would like to feature the woman behind the success of Ina ng Buhay Catholic School, my principal, our leader, the pillar of Ina ng Buhay, our very own Ms. Osmunda L. Pineda. Good day, I am the Sessions. I am so proud and um, honored today na kakausapin natin at we will have a casual talk with our very own uh, curriculum and instruction consultant, Ma'am T. Pineda. So, thank you, Ma'am. Salamat po at pinakulakay na po kami para ma-feature namin kayo sa ating Mother's Day presentation po. Parang tayo mo ba yung presentation? <laughs> Pero Ma'am, this is just a casual talk. Yes. Po. Um, we will have our viewers po take a glimpse of the other side of Ma'am T. Kasi ang lagi lang po nilang nakikita is yung uh, pagiging principal mo sa amin. So, let's start off. Ready na kayo, ma'am? Uh, sige. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> sige po. Ma'am, so, ilang years na po kayo in total sa field ng education? Ah, uh, 36, 40? Around 50. 50. Around 50 years because I started teaching at the age of 19. And up to now, I'm still working. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Very so, much 50, yes. So, 50 years, yes, 50 years. Our teachers, they say, ha, ganun katagal. Ma'am, why education po? Bakit ito po yung feel na feeling? Actually, when I was in high school, uh, I didn't know what to take up when I graduated. So, it was only during the time that I was going to be interviewed by our school directors. And I was looking at the perspectives of the college of the Holy Spirit. And I was choosing the, uh, the course that I was going to take up. So I said, I'm not good in math, so I cannot take up accounting. I was not good in science, so I couldn't take anything about physics. No music, I was not musically inclined also. So I said, the best way to graduate is education. So, I took up the elementary education, so I was lucky enough. Uh, there were only five of us to enroll, so we really got a tour of education in elementary education. That was in College of the Holy Spirit. College of the Holy Spirit. During that time, uh, College of the Holy Spirit. Yes, so it was no longer Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah, formerly it was called Holy Ghost College, and then it was changed to College of the Holy Spirit. So, Ma'am, in the family, po, meron po bang uh, teacher din or related to uh, Some cousins are teachers also, yes. So, ngayon, Ma'am, swerte na yung mga bata natin, yung mga yes. learners natin. Uh -huh. Kasi we have the guidance counselor, yes. and meron na rin intervention na ginagawa. Yes. Pero sabi mo, during your time, kayo, kayo talaga ang yes. mga side. Yes, so, 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 they're lucky, very lucky because somebody's guiding them. 
they are given plenty of orientations. So they are well versed in what course to take up. But like before us, you take up the course that you want. So for me, education. What about this business? Yes, oh, 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 Anyway, ma'am, meron po bang nagbago dun sa landscape of education during your time? And ngayon, kasi nandito tayo naman tayo, so very hands-on pa rin. Ano ka yung mga pagbabago? Maraming, maraming pagbabago. Uh, yung mga changes on how to teach, mga techniques in teaching, diba? So, masyadong marami, so masyadong fast and paced na doon ng education that you really have to keep up. So you have to keep on attending seminars, webinars, you have to keep up with your education or else you'll be left behind. Ma'am, um, sa Clareco, for her years, yes, yes, so yeah. I was there for more than 30 years. 30 years, yes. More. <laughs> so, are they, um, ilan taon po kayo ordinary teacher po? Um, I was an ordinary teacher for I cannot count the years anymore. <laughs> then you became a uh, I became a uh, team leader, uh, a level leader, and then I became a subject area coordinator in me. Yes. And then after that, I went back to, to being an ordinary teacher because uh, if you're going to occupy a certain position, you just have a term of office. Mm -hmm. So another teacher will take over your place. Then. So do you have any memorable experience for um, nung time na pagiging teacher nyo? Marami. Kasi yung mga students, di ba yung mga interactions sa mga students, very memorable. Like for example, yung first batch of students was the Immaculate Conception. So, uh, what you call this, after so many years, I met them again. So they're all, uh, all grown-ups, di ba, anak na. So, I mean, successful. So whenever I see my former students, uh, I'm very happy because uh, I know that uh, they have achieved what they have, what they wanted to achieve. So you know, you know, you know, price is happy. That's what makes me happy. That we must be happy, happy up every time of meeting, you know? When you encourage our teachers, you price no kanilang dedication. Hindi makikita ngayon. Makikita yon. And one good example that I may share po is the owner of Ano nga yung mga? Ah, then ano, the Gazebo Royale. Yes, Gazebo Royale. Yes. Kasi we were there, nagpapaan tayo for our JS. And nakilala niya kayo. Kasi student niya siya from Claret. Yes, too. So, ano yun? So, so hard to warn me when they still remember you. You know, mga ganda. Ano po yung biggest challenge mo? Siguro not as a teacher anymore, no? Yung biggest challenge mo as a leader ngayon ng ina ng buhay. Kasi yung pain with ina ng buhay mga for nine years na. Ah, no, this is my uh, eight, eight years. years. For eight years. Well, uh, what do you call this? Uh, being here at ina ng buhay was quite a challenge for me, no? Because just like what I have mentioned to you, there are times that you really have to be like the mango tree, no? Talagang sturdy, professional, but there are also certain times that you have to imitate the mango tree. <laughs> you really have to bend, no? So you have to listen to what, uh, to what the teachers are saying, what the person is saying, how do they feel. And sometimes, there are certain times that they go against your principles, but still, we still have to listen to them. No? Who is right, who is wrong. So, there are really certain times that, that you really have to change your personality. And it, it cannot just be that whatever you want, it will happen. So, you really have to bend and listen to them. And it's quite rewarding, you know? Listen, uh, listening to, to the school personnel, their concerns. And I have learned a lot from, uh, from, from being here for the past eight years. It has really made me so mature talaga. So I have learned a lot living with enough personalities. Pero very rewarding. So, I'm happy. So for those who na hindi talaga nakakakilala kay Mantino, Manti goes to school at around siguro before 7 during his phase. So nandito na po siya and she comes home late na. Talaga kung pag yung mga bata nandito ba, hindi talaga siya umuwi. So kami din as employees, as teachers, 
nakikita namin yung leadership kasi lagi na natin sinasabi na, di ba? You have to lead by example. So, we are so lucky talaga, ma'am, na nakikita talaga namin yung, yung gusto yung lead na gawin namin. Kasi kayo muna gumagawa, then you serve as an example. Masasabi mo po ba na uh, teaching is a noble profession talaga? Very noble. I mean, it will not be uh, rewarding financially. No? <laughs> yes, financially speaking, it will not make you a millionaire. <laughs> it will not make you a millionaire, but it will make you rich. Okay, rich with experience. And then it will also make you rich if you will handle your finances very well. You will live comfortably, so it all depends on how you will, um, what you call this, work on your finances. But the most important thing there is, the reward is when you see your students succeed in life. Even though they don't become presidents or vice presidents, but still they're doing well in life, that will be the reward. Doon sa 98% mo yung na tenure, tenure dahil kung talaga ano, is ang sating yung mga ang reason kung bakit nag-stay ang mga teachers during your time. Kasi um, statistically, pagkatingin na natin yung ano, during the time of Mangi, we had the, most, the least numbers of teachers na si Sunday. So, ano sa palagay nyo ma'am yung, yung uh, isang bagay na meron kayo na parang kasi sigurado uh, ang di, meron isa kayo sa mga reasons eh. So, ano po yun? Hi, Ma'am Team! Masta na po! Alam ko, favorite mo yung magdo. Ano kayong favorite mong pagkain dito? Makabili na. But anyway, Happy Mother's Day! At salamat at ito ang naging ilaw ng inanong buhay. Stay safe po! Miss you! Bye-bye! Ano meron kayo? <laughs> sa next day sila? Siguro hindi yung sa akin. Kung hindi yung ano, yung friendship ng mga teachers dito. So, it, ano, it has to the time, ano, yung, the test of time, yung friendship nila, and then they care for the school, yung care nila, and then they always say whatever they do anything, they always say all for it. So, para nagiging selfless na sila, you know, which is very important, and they really care for the school. And I'm happy about that. So, when they show their care, compassion, Especially when they do things so that they can help the people in the community. So, I'm glad that we build up in time in school. And I think that's one of the factors that help you know, the teachers to stay. Financially speaking, I mean, we're doing well with money there, uh, salaries. But still, they're happy. They don't ever they can receive from the school. And they know that the school is doing everything for them. Especially our students. We have gathered questions more from our teachers and former employees. So, ano yan na, surprise yan. <laughs> na, mga bagay na gusto nilang itanong sa inyo. Okay. So, number one, let's start with Mang Rose Kirko. Hi, Mang Lee. Pwede kong maraat malaman paano ni po la-achieve yung inyong youthful glow. Ano po ang inyong mga beauty regimen na kayo ay mas bata pa? Ah, oh, okay. So, what they call this, when I started college until uh, the age of 50, yun, uh, I was using makeup every day, but I'm not heavy, natural looking, yung gusto ko. Then after, when I reached 50, my daily habit is I just put on makeup, uh, no, not makeup, but moisturizer, lipstick, my perfume, that's all. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and sleep. Ah, uh, yes. I don't sleep. It depends on the day. <laughs> it depends on the Korean novella. Ah, yes, it depends on the Korean novella also because of the Korean dramas that I watch, okay? But most of the time during all what we call these weekdays, I, even though I sleep at around 11 or 12, I still get up, I still get up at around 4 or 4 30 in the morning so that at around 6 30 I'll be here in school. But during weekends, Saturday and Sunday, I stay in bed, nakakahiya ko kami. Until around 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Kailang mga, kasi at least, kasi yun yung dress. Yes, yes. So, yes. over the whole week, ang aga natin kung mga kasi yes, so. Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> From Mami Santa. 
most memorable place or favorite place you know or country that you travel to. I said so if I may ano mama, si Mami kasi ay well travel talaga dun sa mga nakakakilala sa akin. Kahit anong kwento niyo, meron na po siya na kuntahan niyo. <laughs> ano po ang pinaka memorable or favorite? Uh, my most memorable was in uh, uh, Amsterdam when we were able to visit the gardens called Kuchenhof. In going to Kuchenhof, we passed by a field of tulips, no? Different rows of tulips with different colors. And then once we entered Kuchenhof Garden, it was really wonderful. We could see a lot of uh, different kinds of tulips. Akala kasi natin isang klase lang yun, di ba? Yung bottom of the little. Pero hindi pala. That is where I saw a lot of tulips. Ang ganda. Then, another one is Paris. If you will go to Paris, you will really fall in love. <laughs> It's just simply beautiful. So, parang, when you go there, once you reach it, parang, I'm so in love whether I have a boyfriend or not. Parang, in love ako. <laughs> Maganda place <laughs> talaga. Maganda ang place. Kasi once you see the Eiffel Tower. And uh, we, we even had the chance during one of our visits there. We had the chance to have dinner. And then, some, uh, uh, there was somebody who serenaded us. And so the song La Vie and Rose was quite ano, that's what we played. So talaga, may in love ka talaga, so you visit Paris. Diba? You visit ka Paris now. <laughs> diba yung mga tulips dyan, sa lawa lang kung nakikita ko. Saan na tayo pumunta na? 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 Pero nevertheless, mga lagi mo kong sinasabi sa amin na baka may aw. We can still yes. experience. Yes, of course. Nakapost lang tayo ngayon because of COVID. Yes. That wouldn't stop us from traveling. Yes. Soon. Yes. Diba, ma'am? From Ma'am Jessa. Good day, Ma'am T. Ang tanong ko po is kung meron po kayong gustong balikan nung kabataan nyo, ano po yun? At bakit? Thank you po. When I was young, I loved flying trees. Mga guwawa trees. And then, pagdating ng gabi, pag perfect ang moonlight, we love to play with my, uh, with my friends. So we were allowed to play until 8 o'clock in the evening, playing under the moonlight. Tapos, ano ba yung nabilis ko? Sa Tarnak yan? Yeah, sa Tarnak. Nag-bobite with my friends during summer. Ang init, napanahon pag summer, but still, you don't mind it kasi ba summer. Ayun yung mga moments na spending time with my friends, playing, walang worries, walang care. Kakain ka ba? O hindi, wala yun. <laughs> yun ang maganda. Kasi mga bata ngayon, gadgets. Gadgets lang. Ang laki lang ng miss nila. Dapat mag-upo sila ano, makit ng puno. <laughs> Next ma, from Sir Lindo. Hi Ma'am P! How are you? I just wonder, what makes you wish? Hello Ma'am P! Even though you are single and you have no children of your own, you are a mother to all of us here at Inanambuhay Catholic School. Thank you for being such a caring, loving, generous, and patient mother to all of your children here at Inanambuhay. I hope and pray that God will grant you more years with us. So be healthy always. Keep safe. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, what makes you blush? <laughs> what makes me blush? When I see somebody very attractive. Why yeah. attractive sa you, mom? Tall, dark, and handsome. Ay, yung mga dark. Kasi, ay, yung talaga ng dark, mom. Ay, yung dark. dark. <laughs> dark. <laughs> Kasi, <laughs> dark. There was a time, uh, during my first time no, in Europe, uh, we had this tour guide. When I saw him, talaga, I was so impressed with him because he was tall, he had blonde hair, shoulder length hair. Para siya Nordic, I don't bad. So, I was like, what's going on? I was like, what's going on? He was like, he speaks very well. So, very impressive. Siya. So, <laughs> I can attest to that. Kasi si Mami Pi talaga, pwede, ano yan eh, kailangan may peace ka mabang buhay. Yes. 
So yun, Sir Lindon. Kaya <laughs> ano, alam na, hahanapin mo. <laughs> From Ma'am Rachel Salinas, ano po yung favorite mong brand ng clothes, shoes, and bags? Pwede mo sagutin naman kasi yeah. sagutin mo. <laughs> Well, usually, I, ano, I only buy my clothes sa so Marks and Spencer at sa Devin Hans. So that's the only place where I can get my clothes. So pagdating sa shoes, anything na uh, comfortable sa akin, I buy. Uh, when it concerns bags, usually I don't buy because my nieces usually give me any bags. So ayun, grande, buhin din. Sa mga kakasuka, but usually they give me branded bags, which is well appreciated. For those na hindi na kaka-apply, kasi she may look like parang snob or parang hukong damit yan, high-end, pero no, kasi simple lang talaga siya. Tapos kumakain nga po siya na ano nga yung favorite nung ang mga merienda, tumuroon yung mga ganyan, wet-wet. Diba? Kung nga alam nyo lang talaga. Face-to-face or blended? Face to face. Well, I don't know. Plain teacher or principal? Plain teacher. So, what are you challenging? What are you challenging? Yes. Case principal. Yes. Stress to mom. Stress. 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 And siguro nga, kung merong isang tumatak sa akin bilang secretary register for the longest time, for the longest time talaga, ang lagi kong naaalala pagka dating sa inyo is yung lagi kong sinasabi is slowly at the top. Yes. Diba? Yes. Ganun po kayo ka-humble kasi not everybody knows na parang pagka nakaposisyon ka masaya. Pero sa inyo lagi mo mas nasabi, it's no way of that house. And we corrupt yun eh. Sa totoo lang. Mabing nga na. Chocolate or Coke? Coke? Ano ko kasi sa TV? Korean novela or telenovela? Ay, Korean, siyempre. What's with Korean novela na talagang you're so into? Ah, they're more exciting. Yung ano nila, yung mga lines nila, more realistic. So, tapos maganda yung sinunod. Ano, cinematography nila, dialogues nila. So, you keep on moving. So, ano na yung next episode. So, exciting yung episodes nila. Maganda. Kasi yan yung favorite yun yung mga sayin dahil. Yes, oo. Kaya ay kapok talaga sa Korean novela. Kasi pag nakakwento nga siya, nalalost ako, ano nga pinag-uusapan? Pero pag nanood talaga kayo, yung pacing, maganda. Maganda. Maganda talaga. Hindi boring. Totoo na. Parts, hindi ko po alam. Doon po sa mga ano, baka hindi ko po ito masasabi ng tama. Part So Jun or Song Jong Ki? Sino sino? Ito ba? Di ba ma'am? Parayo tayo? Yes, kasi actually when I watch Korean dramas, I just remember the face of the characters. I don't remember their names kasi it's so hard to remember. Si Park So Jun ata, ma'am. Yung ano yung favorite natin isa, yung Gapo. Sino ba? 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 I think he's a very good actor. Oo, oo. Um, staying or resigning? It depends. It depends on Father Delgo. Totoo. Um, ang dami na naman. Alam nyo actually, ano eh, kulang pa talaga yung episode natin for this one to get to know Mom Tee. But if you want to get to know Mom Tee, mag-enroll po kayo sa IMC. Yes, di ba? Yes. At I'll be waiting for you. Yes, ma'am. Final message po doon sa mga mothers na they work hard for their children just to send to school. To like, for example, yung mga parents at mga stakeholders po natin. So, to our dear stakeholders, our dear parents, our chants, I would like to invite you to enroll your child here. Let's assure that we will really take care of them. Because as you know, whether single or married, our teachers are all ready to take care of your children. And we assure you that the quality of education that we will give you will be top-notch. So remember that we are always here for you. So come and enroll your child. Thank you. Okay, maraming maraming salamat po, Mang Ting. Thank you for inspiring us every day. Kasi 
uh, ako personally, I wouldn't last this long if not for you. Kasi ano yan eh, everyday na ito sinasabi, pumasok ka, magtrabaho ka na parang hindi ka nag-work. Kami yun, parang parang naglalag. Parang, we always look forward to coming to school eh. And uh, ano yan, uh, katunayan yan is ang uh, inan ng buhay, even during COVID lockdown, whatever. Pag sinabing pasok, though we, though we practice safety protocols na, wala pong nagdadalong isip na pumasok because gusto talaga namin. Yes, also. Maraming maraming salamat po. And don't forget to subscribe to our FB page, YouTube account, uh, Instagram. And uh, alam ko bang may Twitter pa tayo. Yes, so don't forget to subscribe. Click the, li- uh, the like button and the bell button also para ma- ma-notify kayo sa ating mga bagong, bagong videos. So, maraming maraming salamat, Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much also. Thank you.